Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Angstrom GAN 11M Pro. This is currently one of the most expensive 3x3 speed cubes you can buy, and it's no secret that this cube has very high performance. While it may be a high performing speed cube, is it worth the high price tag? Let's find out. So starting off with the basic specs, it's 56 millimeters. it weighs a very light 65 grams, it features the cubicle's very popular Angstrom service, and you can pick up this cube for $74.99 at thecubicle.com and even less if you're using the discount code JFCubing for 5% off your order. This cube is lubed with Lubical Black on the core and a mixture of Angstrom Gravitas, Dignitas, and DNM37 on the pieces. This cube has a very light and fast yet controllable and smooth feel, and the control is a bit different than what you experience with traditional silicone lubes. It works pretty much the same way, but you don't get that sticky or gummy feeling, which I really enjoy. That's not to say that silicone lubes don't feel nice, they definitely do, but it feels like there's less friction between the pieces when turning, which personally, I really enjoy. This cube is really stable, which fixes the problem that I had with other GAN cubes, so that is a major plus for me. Now let's talk a bit about the customization. The magnets are set to the medium setting, and the tensions are set to setting 1, and the spring compressions are set to the third click. And these settings are the exact same as what you would get out of the box, so nothing there has changed. This cube, as many of you know, also features a core magnet system, which I'm not going to show because I don't want to mess up the lube on the inside. I already took this cube apart during my unboxing and I was very careful not to mess up the lube. So if you guys want to see what the inside of this cube looks like, you can head over to my unboxing video and you can see the core magnets for yourself there. The cube normally comes with the Angstrom embroidered bag. Mine came with a cubicle embroidered bag, but normally what you would get is that Angstrom embroidered bag. You also get the cubicle cube stand, the Angstrom Research collectible card, as well as all of the additional tensioning accessories that you would normally get with the GAN 11M Pro. And I think it's really nice that they included the box from the GAN 11M Pro because it's honestly just super satisfying to open. So now to answer the main question of this video, is it worth $75? Well, I can say that this cube is very high performing and it's even further enhanced by the Angstrom setup. Sadly, I can't say that I recommend this cube for the obvious reason, the price. The cube performs great and I get amazing times on it and it's my current 3x3 main. However, I do think you could get better value out of some other cheaper 3x3s such as the RS3M 2020 or the Dian Guhong V4 or maybe you want to go for something at a higher price point like the WRM 2020. Those cubes have amazing performance as well and at a much lower price point. And that's what just makes it so hard to recommend the Angstrom GAN 11M Pro. If you like a really high performing cube with loads of customization and that controllable and reliable Angstrom setup service, and if you just like GAN cubes in general, this is definitely a very nice cube to pick up. It's just for me personally, I don't think that the performance of the cube matches up with the high price tag. So anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.